Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly reading for Cancer Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus Signs. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is your weekly reading uh, for the week of June 12th through the 18th. Um, thank you guys for all the love and support, for subscribing, for your views, your thumbs up. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. If you are new to me, welcome. I do read intuitively, so don't go based off of what you see here on the table as I will get various messages that come through. Five of Wands, the Justice card, the Hanged Man, Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Death card. You've got three major arcanas here with the Justice, the Hanged Man, and the Death card. Um, So I feel like there's finally going to be some sort of resolution. Well, let me put it this way. It's kind of like that agree to disagree type energy. It's like, let's not argue anymore. Let's not, you know pick a fight. Let's not be at each other's throats. Uh, let's try to work to resolve things. Let's find a win-win situation. And yet it feels like it's on hold. It feels like it's not moving forward. And in the meantime, you're just like, well, us not arguing, us not fighting is a win in itself. But now let's get to a point where we can have some sort of resolution. So this could be with someone you love. This could be, you know, someone at work. I do feel like, um, if you are going through a divorce or separation, uh, there's been uh, some sort of tumultuous uh, disagreement, argument. It just feels like it's just one particular thing that someone just can't let go that just... Uh, for whatever reason, is holding on tight to this, uh, whether it's a dollar amount, whether it's an actual artifact, someone that's trying to keep something, um, you know, maybe keeping the family home, maybe maybe keeping the pet. Um, I just heard it that way, like not wanting to budge. Um, and I just feel like uh, at some point you're just like, I just can't, I can't take it anymore. Uh, I do see those of you that are going through this type of situation, you will have some intermediary uh, and it will be uh, like, uh, it won't be like ongoing. It just feels like you're at the point where you just cannot come to an agreement or a compromise and I do but I do feel like both of you really want to just turn the page put an end to this once and for all but neither of you wants to budge uh if this is not something that you're going through like you know mediation divorce um you know separation uh custody whatever it may be it could just be something that you're not coming to agreement with with someone at work in your family um i just feel like there is someone here who is saying that they feel justified in holding on to their part of their truth or their situation and and not wanting to see someone's position or not wanting to even open up to hearing uh, their side of the story because I feel like this person may have some sort of uh, track record is how I'm hearing. Someone who's got a track record for um, maybe being... Um, Un, you know, unstable or not being, um, not being, uh, someone who can be consistent here. I do feel like you've got a new, uh, viewpoint of what love relationship partnership should be like. I feel like that is definitely changing. I do feel like there are big changes in your love life, especially those of you that are single, that you have been single for quite some time, Cancer, the, I feel like the love is coming in. Um, it just feels as though there are karmic cycles that you just kept on going through. And at some point, you just kind of decided to kind of go within, right? Just kind of um, feels like some of you just decided to uh, take some time off from going out, from socializing, from getting out there, from dating. You, you know, you said, oh, to hell with it. I'm like done with the dating apps or whatever it is you're doing. I'm done with dating altogether. I'm just going to, you know, take a, take a little break to come back to my senses, come back to me, and then maybe start going out and hanging out with friends and family member and socializing little by little, right? But not with the intention of dating, not with the intention of meeting someone. And of course, that's exactly when you will meet someone, right? The the Justice card with the Ace of Cups, really give, with Ace of Cups underneath it, really gives me the feeling, right smack dab in the middle of this reading, really gives me the feeling that uh, finally, you know, a love worth uh, putting into, spending time, money, effort, uh, someone who is worth your time, right? The Five of Wands with the Knight of Wands has been like a struggle of you having... 
uh, people that you couldn't really depend on, that you couldn't count on, and they would probably get you all excited about making plans, and then something would always come up. You may have dealt with someone who really liked to get you excited about making plans, and unfortunately, I do feel like if you have been involved with someone like this, I'm sorry, but they definitely left you, like, they, they left you hanging. I feel like all dressed up and nowhere to go is how I'm seeing it. Like someone here legit got dressed up, ready, was excited, probably even got a sitter, uh, you know, probably did their whole beauty thing. You know what I mean? Wink, wink. Right. And, um, and, and then for what this person didn't, didn't come through. This person left you just waiting all dressed up and nowhere to go. And and they came up with some sorry excuse where they couldn't really text you back or they had, you know, some lame excuse and you uh, are like, okay, well, I guess I understand. You know, it's like you kind of have no choice or all of a sudden like now you're the asshole. Well, guess what? You do have a choice. You do have a choice. When someone does that to you with no regard to how you feel or what, you know, what you, you've you taken the time to do, um, that's a lack of respect. And, you know, it also, it just feels like, like there is this energy of humiliation. Uh, maybe someone was with you when you were getting ready. They were like, oh my God, I'm so excited for you. And then like Prince Charming never came type energy, right? So I do feel like that, you know, you're like, uh, forget it. Why would I even think? Yeah, see, I was just about to say, forget it. Why would I even entertain anybody who is this toxic and unhealthy trying to have the upper hand, trying to, you know, play games? I'm not about that. You're you're just not at that point in your life. And so with the Justice card, the Ace of Cups, the Hangman and the Death card, I mean, these two major arcanas here is like, yeah, it's time to get off of being in suspension and creating the life, the love, the relationship that you truly want. Look at that. The magician and the moon card. And the moon card does reveal, you know, secrets and but it's also a card of intuition and trusting your gut and seeing the red flags for what they are about someone because now you see the truth about them, how they are, how they treat you and how they probably don't think it was a big deal. They probably still throw it on you like you're overreacting. Why are you so mad? And it's like, honestly, you, you don't have, I don't have time for people like you. Go find someone else to play those games with. Right. And I, and I feel like some of you really need to learn how to empower yourself with those words and not feel the need to allow someone like that back in because they're emotionally manipulative is what they are and um yeah that's exactly how they will keep you feeling if you continue to entertain it the death card with the ace of cups right next to it really is telling me like listen you know that you need you know um uh, better experiences when it comes to love. And so if you've kissed too many frogs, you're like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm absolutely done. It's that, you know, the seven of cups with the moon card is like double the confusion and also the illusion and stop lying to yourself and believing that perhaps this person can change. Perhaps, perhaps this person was telling the truth. You know, no one is ever too busy to send a quick 30 second text saying, listen, uh, I got pulled in at work. We're, we're slammed. We're insanely busy. Or, um, you know, uh, I have a family emergency. I got to, I'm sorry. I know we made plans. I'm sorry. I got, I got to go. You know, someone who's actually going to be communicative at the time to make sure that you understand that, no, this isn't games. This is like something that really is something that has happened. And, you know, you have the wheel of fortune. So regardless of the, you know, BS, this person may be slinging your way. Things will change for the better in your life. Who cares about their life if they're not taking your feelings into consideration, right? And again, it's not a lack of empathy, but rather reinforcing your self-worth and self-respect. Don't let this person strip you of that, okay? Yang energy. I love it. This is card number one. So for the meantime, listen, you got the magician card and this card. You definitely have the power within you, within your hands in a specific situation. You definitely have the ability and the capability to really tap into your power and say no, no more, no more. Number one, solo, 
you got to look out for number one is how I'm hearing it. And I feel like that card is definitely reminding you that that's not the type of relationship that you need in your life. You know what you want in a relationship. Don't settle for someone who's got this, you know, toxic, you know, um, player energy, totally player manipulator. And the card of Axe, forces working against you. The card of Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Dark woman dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or dark hair. That could be you or that could be someone involved in this situation. Uh, it could be someone who uh, looks like that. That could be giving you uh, the information. Claw, be careful. Do not take risks. Card of Ant, work, achievement, success. Ooh, and two cards came out. Ooh. The card of younger man, dealings or relationships with a younger man. That could be you or someone else. And handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. So, you know, we've got the energy here with the hands showing up. And, you know, the struggle here you see with your hands, wanting to balance the scale with your hands. Um, you know, two hands shaking and, you know, the claw and yang and magician energy. So really it is about just making sure, I mean, what do your hands symbolize? You know, the, the, the energy within your hands to make something work and um, transfer of energy between two people. My hands are on fire as I'm saying this, okay? So perhaps some of you may need uh, to do some sort of cord cutting because I'm really feeling it in my hands here. Uh, may need to do some sort of cord cutting, may need to have some uh, Reiki energy clearing. Uh, I do offer those services down below. You can message me, check out my offerings on my um, on my calendar uh appointment book uh and yeah so i feel like if there is this feeling like you just can't quit this person you keep you can't stop thinking of them things of that nature um, it's a mind game okay so just be careful of that let me pull one more card i feel like i need to bring in a little bit more clarity here for you but let me pull the magical messages of the fairies One more card here. Assertiveness. <laughs> I cannot make this up, guys. Uh, you guys, you and Pisces are the only ones where, like, this deck was calling, uh, you know, calling me to pull an additional card. So assertiveness. Stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. So sometimes you may feel like you really want to agree to something. And then you don't realize in that moment that what you may be agreeing to may not be fully the terms that you are um, envisioning that you're agreeing to because you may agree to something and someone else may be misrepresenting what they're offering, right? Uh, so just be mindful of that energy that's coming around. I, I definitely feel like you have angels around you trying to protect you, uh, trying to show you uh, that if there is a specific person or connection relationship path that you want to take, that's probably not the best for you. Um, unfortunately you may be going through some uh, tough realizations in the process. And this is not specifically with the intention of hurting you, but rather to uh, make you bring in the clarity that you need regard regarding this and, and have you make more informed decisions. So Make sure you stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to, okay? If you'd like to book any of my services down below, I will be offering various things. Um, I am updating my calendar, my website, all of that. I know it's been a long time coming, so stay tuned. But if you want to get in now on the prices that I have set up, the link is in the description box down below. Remember to give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And your playlist is here. And I don't know what reading I'm going to put here yet. <laughs> But I would love it if you subscribed. Have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.